RadicalPrep.com. Okay, this question says if 30% of M is 60, what is 15% of M? And to get these questions right, I'm going to give you guys a few tips so that you can just read these problems left to right and know how to translate them algebraically. So the first tip is anytime you see the word is, you're going to write the equal sign. Anytime you see the word of, you're going to know that that means multiplication, so you're going to put your dot there. I didn't put the x because I don't want you to confuse that with um, a variable. And anytime you see a percent sign, you're going to know that that means to divide by 100. Okay, so this is going to be super helpful. Let's just read the problem left to right and see how this works. If 30%, if 30% divide by 100 of m, of m is 60 is equals 60 okay so we've got our first part of the equation here the the first part of the question and you can put in 0.3 for the 30 over 100 and, and you know just blast it into the calculator but I'm going to show you just in case you didn't have a calculator on you what you would do okay so 30 over 100 I want to get rid of it you're going to multiply by the reciprocal and what I do to the left, I've got to do to the right. So let me just cross that out. I'm going to bring this down. And uh, 60 divided by 30, cross that out, that's just 2, right? 2 times 100 is 200. Okay, so now we found out that M is 200. And we can use that information for the next part of the problem. So let's read that. Now it says, what is? So I didn't tell you before, but anytime it says what, a number, that's your variable. So now we can put in the variable. So what is 15%? 15 over 100 uh, of, of multiplication and of m, right? So we're just going to put in 200 because we found out m was 200 from before. And we've got 200 divided by 100. That's just 2. 15 times 2 equals 30 and you're done. And I really like this method because there's really it's really hard to mess up. You're just reading left to right. So, choice C. There you go.